Hi guys, I'm Mick Zach Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. We are playing in the realistic mode. In the last episode, we talked a little bit about our roads and how we're planning them and we started constructing them. We also planned out a little bit of an extra infrastructure here um, in terms of our power distribution, our heating and, and the likes. Uh, we will in this episode continue the construction of roads, maybe start working, um, we're definitely going to start work on the rest of the infrastructure and we will be starting planning on our construction industry up here. One thing that I did kind of realize in between episodes is the fact that this prison over here is not going to work next to this heating plant because people will be dying due to the pollution. So what I'll do is I'll remove that, we'll move it, uh, we'll move it to a different spot. Uh, from there, we will go down here, grab ourselves this uh, small prison, the 14-ton one. Uh, we will probably won't even build it very early on. We need another power um, power connection somewhere over here. But I think the idea is, and if we, yeah, no, no, I think this is a, this is the right spot right there. I think that should be far enough away. Um, so I'll just uh, hold down control so we don't have any connections here. Um, and then we'll grab the road and run it um, through there and we'll basically tie that in. Um, all of this needs to be graveled up as well. Now, what we'll also do is let's start, um, let's continue our work in terms of getting uh, more gravel roads in place. So let's do that piece and at the same time probably go about assigning it to these two. I'm not sure that they would do it by themselves, but anyway, it doesn't matter. We'll grab that um, and we'll continue slowly, continue doing that. Now, um, I did have another look at this pipeline and it's, I'm, I'm liking the idea of running it on the ridge and running it in between the trees and we might add some extra trees to it, but it's really looking pretty good um, in that way. Now, the next thing, um, we'll, we'll probably uh, get a few more of these uh, construction offices in place so that we can, um, in the end... Um, still, we can we can start work on some of the other stuff there. So I'll do one, two, two more of them over here. Probably even actually, probably even another. Um, I'm not too fussed by using all of them at the moment. We will be replacing them in due course, um, just because um, if uh, you, you you only have the seven, so that, these will be really useful in future if we start moving them out to our. Um, uh, where we're expanding um, at least at least to get get some of these things in there so what we'll need to do is let's grab some additional pieces that we need for construction so we've got um, buses and we'll probably add some more buses over there so what do we need we need at least a couple of concrete mixers I think that's going to be the very least um, we've got the excavator we do need open holes but maybe Paver is not important at this point. Cranes are important. Um, rollers not important at this point in times. We need a covered hull. Um, you know what? Uh, what I'll do is I will grab covered hulls. We need very little covered hull. So let's get an extra mixer and we'll put a covered hull in here and we'll probably go for a pretty large one um, like so. There we go. Uh, squeeze that one in there. Then we'll move on to the next one. Um, and we'll add here, we need cranes. So let's get a couple of road cranes. Hmm. What is this? This is 23, 26, but that's 70 kilometers there. Oh, actually, we're going to grab two of these. I'm going to grab two of those. And we also need um, open holes. And I think we're just going to go with the, the biggest size here, right? 13 tons, 12 could look at this one, but this one is... Oh, actually, that one's slower than this one. Hmm. And, yeah, but... Oh, but this one can move a slightly larger piece of equipment. Not that that's the biggest part that we're going to be doing. Oh, oh they're slightly bigger. So I'm, I'm just going to go and grab... Um, uh, two of them. And we'll see about what we're going to do with the other ones. Now... So we've got the concrete in here, so let's assign uh, concrete from over there, please. The other piece that we're putting in here was what exactly? We had the uh, open hull, I mean the closed hull. So we'll grab these um, electronic and mechanical components for the closed hull. That's the only stuff that we're getting. Um, so this one, let's rename that just so we have an idea. This is construction office and it is um, concrete and... 
uh, components, concrete and components. Uh, ooh. Can I do that? Concrete and components. So let's do that. Um, the next one is getting in cranes and open hull. Um, so this one will be renamed construction office. Uh, oops, that's the wrong button there. So construction office and this one will be cranes and uh, what, what do we call all of this stuff? Open storage. Um, material. Oh, cranes and materials. And we probably will need to expand that because I don't think we've, that's enough. Um, so let's save that one there. So at least we've got a couple of these things on. Oh, and what I want to do is immediately, immediately um, stop assigning these things and clear all of this stuff, please. I don't want you to be jumping the gun with any of this. Uh, ooh, actually that still needs to be assigned. So let's stop the auto there. We'll clear all of this out. Thank you. I don't want any of those things to be jumping jumping the gun. And I'll go, go ahead with this one as well. Oh, so as soon as you build them, they immediately move that way. Okay, that's fine. Let's do that. This one all done. Nothing is being assigned. That's all good. All good, all good, all good. Um, now, um, the next piece of the puzzle here is I don't I think we've got everything we need basically we might not just not have enough of that but what we'll do now what is this thing this was a technical office and this was a distribution office you you should be able to see it so that's construction this is distribution and this is a technical office interesting um, way they've they've differentiated between those so one thing that I probably want to get started on straight away is oh hang on just before we do that um, did we say so what it was coming here materials so I will be saying you would want steel and bricks and prefab and boards from there. That's all good. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to manage it this way just so that we don't get crazy funniness going on here. So let's uh, let's do that. Um, that should be good. Now, what I want to do is I want this guy to be assigned for some construction. I think that's something that we'll need to do fairly early on. This is going to roads. Um, so I definitely need dumpers to come and work here. I will need um, um, foreign labor to come and work here. We'll need concrete as well. And we concrete and components we'll need. And we will need um, cranes and materials. But we'll also need the roads and paths for the m equipment. So let's uh, basically everything, to be honest. Basically everything. So let's do that. Let's get that underway so we can start working on this. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is head into our construction area. And one of the things that we're going to talk about here, we'll leave it all, everything running, but let's have a look at the economy and trade. So as you can see, uh, we, we uh, ooh, uh, mm, let's move in here. Let's hit that. Okay, so this year alone, um, we've, we've imported very little in terms of, in terms of materials. Work days have come in, um, 52 work days at a pretty reasonable rate, actually. And this is all going to be gravel, I'm sure. Um, so these are low numbers. <clears throat> but if we have a look at the price of the various items, right? So what we want to look at is what we're going to purchase things for. Boards are really inexpensive. Bitumen is quite expensive. Um, asphalt is less expensive, so it's not a big deal. Asphalt um, moving through there. Bricks is quite cheap. Um, cement is quite cheap. Chemicals is expensive. Clothes is expensive. Coal is fairly cheap. Coal ore is even less. Uh, is even less. Concrete is really inexpensive, so we may as well be able to run concrete through there. Um, and we crops is quite cheap. Electronic components are very expensive. Electronics very expensive. Fabrics quite expensive. Food is actually remarkably expensive, and then fuel is quite expensive. Uh, gravel really cheap. Iron is cheap. Iron ore is even cheaper. Livestock's pretty pricey. Meat is pricey, mechanical components quite pricey, but we use very little of some of these things. Obviously, nuclear fuel and the likes. Oil is not bad. Oil is um, oil is not too bad. Um, so I'm, 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 I'm okay with importing oil for the time being. Plastics are really expensive. Power is, uh, is something that we'll be importing fairly early on as well, and that's not too bad either. Prefab panels is quite cheap. Quarried stone is quite cheap. Uh, raw bauxite we won't need steel is the expensive one and so I'm thinking in terms of our construction industry I will build a steel mill a small steel mill I think I've got a mod for that 
small steel mill and, and we'll move on from there. Waste water and water is quite cheap, wood is quite cheap. Um, so yeah, I think steel is going to be the pricey one that's going to con continue to cost us a lot of money if we don't uh, if we don't make our own. But the iron and the coal is quite cheap. So um, so steel definitely is something that I'm interested in getting um, up and running as soon as we can. So let's start looking at some of the planning items that we would like to do here. Um, if we move on to the construction industry, um, we would like a gravel quarry. What was the difference between this one? Oh, they just do it quicker, right? One, 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 two tons per year, two tons per year. Can't remember that there's any big deal. But anyway, what we'll do is we'll just, um, oh, you know what? I think this one had a, yes, it had a, a conveyor out, outbound. I think that's the, that's the real difference between those is the conveyor outbound. But let's not do that. I think that might be a little bit cheaty. Um, so what we're going to try and do is find ourselves um, a couple of spots. That's a pretty decent source there. And we... Up to about 70% here. So let's place one there. And we'll place another one over here. So we'll make a start with those two there. Um, let's make sure to get a bit of a road connection going here. Uh, this was my this was my concern. No free excavator in this area. When we're building roads, I would like us to have a look at this. Is there anything we can do? Yeah, Is, do I really not have an excavator here? They're all they're all busy building roads somewhere. Oh, over here as well. Probably need extra excavators, to be honest, uh, to do that. Anyway, we can link that up in, uh, in due course. So we'll do, do that, get a bit of a, a road connection, potentially straight in here, to be honest. Straight in here might be the, the easiest of the road connections to do. Yeah, I'm not sure that's going to work. Even if I try and play around with that, I'm going to get, I'm going to need the ex excavator to sort that out. Uh, it does. It's, uh, it's going to be a, be an issue. Uh, alternatively, if we do something like this, yeah, even that's going to be. Uh, I don't want to do that. Close that out. So, alternatively, what we could do is could um, try and run a little something like this, really, to see if we can make that work. But unfortunately, we won't. So we'll we'll come back to that once we've got an excavator available. Now, the next thing I wanted to do is start working on. Um, so in, in the construction industry, from here, we would want to do gravel processing. Uh, so gravel processing, we've got numbers. Oh, that's an electric steel mill, blast furnace. No, no, don't want any of these things. Uh, so some of these things, uh, but, but these are really pricey items, though. Uh, yeah, 350 tons of steel. What is this? Gravel Processing 2. I think that has some kind of connection in there. That's got the conveyor connection in there, whereas this one does not, which we're not using. So we have a rock crusher, but I don't think that's going to be really handy. Um, it gives us 8 tons of gravel, whereas this one gives us 82 tons of gravel. I think ultimately we're going to need to um, produce uh, something like this over here. So let's make a start. Um, this is nice and flat, this area. I want to try and make sure it's not too far to travel. Um, and they will be traveling on this section, I think, as well. So anyway, let's uh, let's give us a little bit of room here. So we'll do something like that as a starting point. Uh, we'll have to bear in mind that we're wanting to run our, our key power through here. What I will do is let's extend our primary road connection um, in here somewhere. So we've got a little bit of room on both sides potentially and what we'll probably need to have a look at is how are we going to provide this access access point here. Um, I'm quite interested in doing maybe something like this. Um, wrap it around there. We will need things like bus stops over here as well. So we'll need, just need to keep an eye out. Um, I'm quite happy to do a bit of a key junction there so that we can provide access to some buildings and the likes. Um, on this side, while well, this one that remains our primary um, uh, or our secondary arterial, not not the highway, but the secondary one. Okay, now 
Uh, let's quickly pop through here. Did we have an excavator return? Not quite yet. Uh, busy on that one. This one is coming back now. Um, so there's a bit of construction happening here. Hopefully we are getting our stuff uh, delivered fairly quickly. We are getting some workers coming in now. That section has all been built, so that's pretty cool. I wouldn't mind fixing that part there. Um, but let's get that little slither of road done first. So that's the first item here. Now, of course, what I do want to do is provide a little bit of a storage area for us. So if we go construction, gravel. Yeah, I'm not sure the stuff that I'm wanting is, is, is here. So let's go and find the storages that we're after. I believe we should have open storage, warehouse for vehicles, meat storage, grain storage. Where would I find? Never find these things, to be honest. Gravel processing, cement plant, concrete prefab, brick factory. I can never find the storages that I'm after. It's a, it's, uh, it should be much easier than this. Uh, gravel, gravel quarry, gravel processing plant. Again, that's where I just was. Um, over here, here we go. There we go. We've got some storage over here. So bulk cargo port, we're definitely not doing that. These are big things. There's, a, there's free aggregate storage that we can use, of course. Um, but I think, and maybe for the time being, how much actually, how much um, storage does this facility have? Um, it's got a fair bit actually on hand. So we'll just leave it without that and just make sure that we've got some room for it over here. The next thing that I'm interested in doing, um, and then what we can do is we can connect to the, uh, the concrete and the, the asphalts and stuff to the other side. But what I'm really keen on getting done is getting a steel mill in place. So forget about an iron mine and iron ore processing just yet. Let's start it off with a steel mill. Um, so this is a, a electric steel mill. I think that's not gonna be useful. Well, 18 tons of steel a day. This is a blast furnace um, that's giving us steel and gravel. No, not necessarily after one. Yeah, that's too, too expensive, too expensive there. 240 tons of steel for the normal one. And then we've got a steel mill here, which is a small one um, that I think is probably about the right one for us. That's 37, a tiny steel mill. And then just this steel mill, I think. Yeah, I think this is the one for us. This steel mill right over here is the one that I'm most interested in. Um, and I'll probably do it in this general area here. And we'll see about, uh, we should be able to put, put some uh, processing facilities maybe on that side of the road and, and get this across. If we flip it around though, is that uh, is that better? So we have yeah, slightly different access point arrangements here. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a lot better. What else do we have? Just a number of different um, factory connections. So I think something like this um, is gonna be our steel mall in this location. Yeah, that's pretty good. And I think this is gonna be the, one of the first buildings that we're actually gonna go ahead and build um, just because it's got, um, got that flexibility for us. So what I'll do, is I will start by running a little road off into this direction here. Uh, we will, uh, how much, uh, just, just want to double check how much storage the steel mill has. Um, so this steel mill has room for 65 tons of steel. For the time being, that'll probably be okay. If we look at storages, um, I'm not after those storages though. I'm after open... So you can never find the right storage. So if we're going open storage, we do have free open storage, but that doesn't actually connect. Um, so if we just go to a slightly larger variant, the small one, uh, that can fit in there. And that takes 330, but this one, which is the bigger one, um, that could fit if we, if we turn it on its side like this. If we do something like that, that could fit, or alternatively, it could fit on this side. And then we can actually pull the train in here in due course. But I'm, I'm not convinced that's necessarily what we're going to try and do here. But yeah, that's, that seems fairly reasonable in, in the future. In the future, we will find something that works. But what I'll do in the meantime is I'll just um, kind of do a little bit of this. 
so that we provide a little bit of extra room in case we wanted to squeeze something in here. And moving things uh, intersections further away from the, the main roads are, uh, are good, good practice. Um, okay, so we should have an excavator back uh, ready to go. So uh, let's see about um, quickly sorting that out. I'll pause it while I do this piece. So where's my... Get that excavation sorted. And then we'll tie that in. And can I... Yeah, yeah, this one will tie in there. There we go. That's that's pretty good. So those will be the starting points for us. Um, do we have the ability to squeeze an extra one in there just in case we need it in the future? The gravel piece. 3% um, only though. That's a 33%. 24. 57 um yeah if we need to expand this there's, there's plenty of other spots we can find for the time being that's the one that we're going to do um so we'll get some gravel going on there that's that's not the end of the world we'll go with that i want to start work on this steel mill have we finished this one off yes excellent so what i'll do next is let's assign all of our construction officers to this one and we'll go and get this done, please. There's nothing in there, so let's just assign that so we can start working on that infrastructure. Um, and we probably need to do the same thing on this side. Let's go ahead and assign, similarly assign pieces here. And we'll go about doing that. Perfect, there we go. So I think we've um, done a little section of road here. So let's, uh, let's quickly move on and get um, the next piece through. Do that and I won't do that we will need the other side uh, what we can do is we can do those two now did they assign to our roads guys let's just make sure to assign these two and similarly let's assign those two but they don't seem to be wanting to assign roads and paths but anyway that should be good we should be able to get those in place uh, excellent. Everything is now running quite nicely and we've got that access point there. That's actually looking pretty good here. Um, and now I wouldn't mind getting getting cracking on on the steel mill so that we can we can actually bring in workers and start creating our own steel, which I think is the plan of action for us. I am going to go ahead and assign construction over here and we'll get as much of this done as we potentially can. Um, I probably need to get us an extra bus if we're going to go about doing that. So let's um, add an extra bus in here. At least one extra bus. I think this is the one that we're using, right? Let's grab that one. Okay, get an extra bus coming in. I want to do steel straight away. We can also export steel, uh, which is a, a big uh, piece of the action, of course. Building is without a power supply, and that's absolutely well understood. That's okay. Excellent. Now, what we can do is we can start planning out some of our other bits and pieces here. So one of the things I would like us to do is just continue running our power. Now, the question is, do I run power off here, or do I get another kind of piece on that side? Um, I think in the interest of... Um, well that does that need power? Okay, in the interest of sorting things out a little or, or maintaining a little bit more money, um, let's do this. What is the, I think, the, I think this is okay. Let's just do a power substation in this area. I do wonder about when we build that, the next thing we are going to of course need to do is get this built as well. I'm a little worried about some of these things because they can burn down, you know? Um, so this will actually need um, a path connection in there in order for us to uh, in order for us to actually build it. Um, and then at the same time, I'm thinking we'll just run uh, we'll just run the power down down this way, and we'll go with the with the maximum voltage here. Um, I'll do that, and then we'll cut across here, and we'll go. Right down here, so we've got the multiple ones. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be um, ultimately less pricey. Here 
we go. So if we do that, yeah, that's all good. Uh, I will go ahead and um, um, start that construction. So we can so we can get that going. We'll also need this to be assigned at some point. And I honestly, I think we should get this guy going. I'm gonna I'm gonna start construction on the fire station as well. I'm kind of wondering whether I should get foreign workers to come and come and sort this out. So let's get all of these guys in also, and we'll we'll start work on the fire station too. Yeah, the fire station, I think, is going to be important. Um, yeah, this doesn't seem to want to work. So what we'll do... No, no... Oh, actually, no, something is on the way here. So maybe that's that's the thing there. Let's, let's do that. Do we have anything anywhere? Where are my... Um, my construction vehicles? Where's my... Um, are they all on this road? There's one there. Where are my other... Oh, there's something going here. Hmm. Where is my other uh, items? Where's this guy? Where are you? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> We've got the road cranes that should do this thing as well. Um, yeah, so that, that unfortunately is, is still happening on this side too. I think there's a bit of an issue here. So let's just get um, foreign workers to pop in there. I think these little sections is causing a little bit of issues here. So let's... Um, oh, this guy isn't even heading to, to the right spot. Yeah, I do need... Okay, when this guy arrives back, I'm going to move him. I'm going to go ahead and remove uh, move that vehicle all the way over there. And that means I can buy another excavator. I think another excavator is going to be useful here. So let's grab another excavator and just do the right one this time. Um, an extra excavator I think is going to be quite useful. Just to make sure we get, um, get these roads built a little quicker. Because road building... Is quite important for us. Now, what I'll do is I'll speed things up a little bit because now we're not going to do too much um, in this space. I think this is planned out. We're not going to build everything at once, so we'll we'll see about that. Probably need a little bit of a vehicle depot um, here, so we can actually uh, procure buses to do some stuff. So let's uh, let's grab that. Get ourselves a, a road depot, a free depot. Do seven of them too. I'll, I'll do it like this, so it's just a little bit more interesting there. So we'll do a road depot that way. Um, we will go ahead and tie it in like that, see how that works. That's just giving it a little bit of a more interesting look and feel. Okay, so we've got... Oh, yeah, this guy is doing its thing here. For the roads, of course, these, uh, these bulldozers are, are even better. This is another new one that's just arriving. Interesting that we've got a fair bit going there. So what we can do is we can start work on on the next piece of the um, of the road. Uh, this area, this piece of road is not being used at all at this point in time. Oh, interesting. So we'll have to do it in two sections like that. And then once this is done, we'll do these two sections on this side. I think that should be good enough. Oh, this is actually picking up as a single one. That's okay. You can start running in those pieces and this should get done quickly. Excellent, that's good. So with that in place, now they can run the other way around. Um, so what I'll do is I'll also uh, probably pick on this section. Oh, that section won't actually get built. But what we'll do is we will... I'm going to go and tie that one in and we'll get, get that one um, assigned to some construction offices as well. Good stuff. Here we go. Our first sections have been done. So we should now be able to get power. Look, that's, that's super low there. I'm hoping we're not seeing this a similar thing on this side. Anyway, that's being constructed there. What's happening over here? Are we seeing dumpers? Is that that's everything, right? Apart from the one. To be honest, I can assign that one as well because that's another open hole that we can make use of. So let's assign that one and we'll say, well, grab everything you need from over here. Not that they're going to use that straight away. Anyway, just get get all of these sections built. Um, is the idea really 
Uh, there should be construction on the way over here. Yeah, stuff has been delivered over here. Gravel is being delivered. Um, the real important one is for us to get this thing to move. Oh, so concrete has arrived. Um, the last bit of concrete, I think, is coming in now. Asphalt um, is there. We are waiting on gravel to come and arrive, and then we'll get some, some of those vehicles to come in here um, to come and work on it. So that, that'll be an interesting one for us. Okay, this one's heading up that way. These are working on um, on these sections, dumping a lot of this stuff. Yeah, the road sections taking a fair bit of our effort, really, and that will take a, a, num a fair bit of time to get built. We're still waiting on a number of gravel deliveries. That steel, I, I'm, I would really like um, this to almost be the last steel that we get. Um, in place here and potentially a bit of a bus stop over here will, will help things out a little bit. Um, there's some other things that we need to start planning out which we can certainly start looking at. Um, let's let's first extend this as a as a general rule here. We'll go over this way a little bit, extend it through there and then keep running it that way so we just make sure that that is in fact in this area ready to go. Now, from gravel, we go into the construction industry. From gravel, we need to make cement. Do we have a smaller cement plant? Doesn't actually look that way. We've got various concrete plants, but we need to make cement probably first. That's really pricey. Do I not have a smaller cement plant? Let's just have a look under the mod section, cement. Doesn't seem to be the case. Do we have something under construction offices? Well, not, not. Uh, factories. Let's just pop in there and have a quick look. Cement, cement. I thought we had um, a smaller cement plant. I'll just have a look at these. Uh, that's an asphalt plant though. They have generally have little signs there. That's gravel processing, bakeries, rural, textiles. See anything saying cement actually. Asphalt, concrete, concrete, asphalt, electronics. Can't see any cements down there. Prefabs, yes, breweries and the likes. Um, this is coal ore processing, a steel mill, the small one which we're actually building at the moment. A rock crusher, which I think is just too small. We've got some oil, a hydrogen plant, which I'm definitely not building that one. A little bit outside of the games um, area. Yeah, so it seems like we don't have, um, in terms of cement plants, we're just going to have the one that we've got. So I'm going to have to go ahead and use that one. Um, it's it's a pricey one, but we, we, anyway, we're planning it out, and, and potentially that's that's what we're after, really. So it's, it's taking coal and it's taking gravel. So we'll leave a little bit of room for that, and what we'll do here is probably do... If we flip it around... Flip it around like this. I think we should be able to make it work in this kind of area here. Um, is that a little bit too close though? Well, we wanted it to be pretty close here. So what we'll do is let's start it off over there. And, and it doesn't have to necessarily stay here, um, guys. That's, that's not necessarily where it's going to end up. From here we'll do concrete, and concrete needs concrete needs gravel and cement though. And asphalt, let's have a look at asphalt. Asphalt on the other hand, our prefabs needs uh, uh, again gravel and cement. So we'll actually, so we'll need multiple areas around here. So let me remove this one first, and let's just let's just build uh, plan a storage in here because from that storage we'll need to to run to multiple things. So let's grab ourselves a fairly large aggregate storage over here that we plan in there. Uh, yeah, I think if we go here, we'll get the aggregate storage, right? Yeah. Yeah, none, none of that, none of that. A large aggregate storage. Um, and go... Oh, actually, that little spot there works quite well. Uh, what we'll do is we'll flip it around to have a road access from that side instead. 
Nice. Okay, so from here, that'll be pricey to build, but but we'll get that we'll get that sorted out. We'll get that one in place um, and just make sure we're not building any of this. Well, in none of them have, have road access for the time being. Oh, we've got some machinery here working on on this. Excellent. Slowly getting there. Um, working on that, that's good. Uh, what I will do is actually switch this on so we've, we've got that going. Now from here we will need to do the cement stuff. No, 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 not that. We're into construction really. So here we will do cement which is going to take coal and gravel. And that's, that's a big one, right? That does a lot, uh, it's not that much, to be honest. Um, if we flip you around. The problem with using this side is that we won't be able to sort some stuff out. So what we could do is we could squeeze it in over here I like this uh, we don't need to put it right on top of each other but I think I like this idea if we put an extra um, we could obviously do an extra station so let's just place that in there we know we can connect it directly similarly I'm kind of tempted to um, just delete this piece thank you and we'll, we'll see about maybe doing um, a, a step to approach here. Uh, what I'll do is I will extend this road section through here. What we'll do is we'll turn it a little bit so it's got a, a slightly more interesting curvature there. That's good. We'll tie this one in over here and we'll see what else we get. Now from there the construct next piece of the construction industry is going to be the cement plant. So what kind of, oh the concrete plant, sorry you've got the cement plant here. That's 175, that's 210, that's 60, that's 20. That's a minor, a minor drop in the bucket. This one, 60 tons of concrete, 20, 175, 210. Uh, to be honest, I'm kind of tempted to just do the big one. Oh, hang on, hang on. If we wanted to do that, we'll need this section to work. Okay, let's let's turn that around again. Um, not that we necessarily need to do that, get that connection in there, but but that might be. If we wanted to store it, we'll need some storage in between anyway. Uh, see, this is why we need to plan, 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 plan all the time. And I'm probably getting close to the end of this episode, but ooh, we'll do that. We'll reconnect it over there. That's all good. Now back to that. If we wanted to do cement. Cement storage is another one that I need to, need to have a quick look at. So back to the cement one. Let's do that. Do we have the cement plant, which is the big one. Now, if we wanted to, we would need to do a little something like this, really. And to be honest, that's not, that's not too bad. We could do it over here. Yeah, let's do something like that. We'll place it there. We'll see how that works for us. We'll obviously need to get these things together. We'll get this guy. Where's my road connection? Ah, there we go. If we flip it around, there we go. That's an awesome one. Okay, so I, I won't necessarily connect it up straight away. So we'll do something like that. Um, We'll run ourselves a little bit of a road up here. We'll buy this one in. Okay, that's good. So what we don't have though is a cement storage. So let's quickly have a look at that section. So we might yeah, have to move this again. So storage wise, cement storage is what I'm after. Do I have any other cement storages here? That's a grain storage. Oh, hang on. This is grain storage altogether. Where will I find cement storage prefab where hang on storage is warehouses 
what is this stuff? Oil storages. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's liquid storage. That's okay. Uh, moving on, moving on. I find it amazing that I can never find the storage. The specific storage is always so difficult to find. What is this? Oh, here we go. Cement silo. Seems to be the only one. Uh, so what do we what do we have here? 1,400 tons. Uh, and the cement plant itself is yeah, storing about 70 tons of it. So we might uh, we might sort that out, but we'll leave it as this for the time being. So from a construction point of view, the next thing we want to do is prefabs and asphalt. So prefabs. Uh, what does this do? Ooh, that does a lot of prefabs compared to this one. Yeah, probably the smaller one is what we're after. And you, as an input, what are you grabbing? As an input, you want cement and gravel. Again, with the cement and the gravel. So it seems like we'll have to get a storage in here um, and get some cement and gravel. To, to deal with this stuff, yeah. Something like that could work. Yeah, but we will need a storage. So we'll need to move that a little bit and get a storage in place if we wanted to make this work. We'll place that one over there. And then the next one over is the asphalt. Um, asphalt needs uh, bitumen and gravel again. Bitumen will have to come in from elsewhere. Um, so the last thing that I think we're having here is the asphalt. Um, and we need to be able to collect gravel directly also. So we'll need to um, do a little something here, get that road to come and come and collect it up through there. Um, let's get ourselves some asphalt stuff here. So this does 145 tons, 224 tons of asphalt. I don't think we need super duper amounts of asphalt, to be honest. 70 versus 145. Five workers, five workers. Bitumen. Hmm. Maybe this one. I don't. I don't mind it too much, really. Um, got some oil stuff that it needs to do. Um, so what I'll, what I'm kind of interested in is maybe squeezing it in something like like that, for instance. Um, we can get a road connection through here. Plus, ooh, actually, a road connection through here might be challenging. We might flick things around a little bit at some point. But yeah, we need a bit of a storage there. What's going on with our steel mill? Um, it is progressing fairly nicely. We're spending a bit of money now, um, but the steel mill is progressing. Uh, what's going on over here? Oh, excellent. This is done. Um, so for the time being, let's purchase a few vehicles. Um, I think one of each is probably good. Maybe just the one. And then what I'm interested in is coming over here, buying a bus, a small one, a micro bus of sorts. There's seven passengers, we might need two of them to be honest, but let's grab, start off with one. Um, and what we'll do is we'll put that on a, on a bit of a piece to run workers in there. Building is without a power supply. I don't think it needs a power supply. I, I honestly, I don't think it needs a power supply. So let's just see what it, what it comes up to. Um, if we, once we get this bus in place, can we actually bring workers in? I'm not sure if you can bring workers into a fire station. Maybe, yeah, you should be able to. I think you can. So it should, I mean, we're, we're planning on bringing in workers this way. So it should be all good. Lots of bricks coming in now over here. So we've got all of our steel in. Oh, no, no, there's still more steel that needs to be delivered as part of the next stage. Now, with the uh, bus ready to go, I'll put a bit of a schedule in place there and we'll go and take bus uh, workers in from the um, from the border. So we'll go border and at the border you would like to load up on uh, on workers. Not tourists please, you'd like to load up on workers and you'd like to bring and unload it at the fire station. Again, we'll just we'll just say unload um, those guys so you're only going to grab them and then what we'll do is we'll make a start on that line we'll see if that works what did we get here there's a bit of a crash in terms of iron ore that's okay no need to worry about that I don't think we need electricity for that one to operate 
Um, and one thing that we definitely need to do is get this uh, this road, uh, this this little section going over here. Um, and we just want to make sure. Anyway, what we'll do is we'll run it straight down here, and we'll fly it in over there. And then I'm going to start working on this one. So let's assign our, all of our. Um, all of our crews to come and uh, deliver on, on this thing, get that built so that we can eventually get power connected. Um, we need 10 firefighters, but let's see if this uh, truck is bringing it. And that'll be the last thing we do in this episode. I just want to keep an eye on it. Oh, here it goes. Uh, we finished off this piece of road, so at least there's one little section left. So let's get cracking on, on that. Uh, that should be picked up by paths and things. Okay, and then if we pop in here, workers, no. Maybe uh, we'll, we'll double check it next time. Yeah, once we get that, we'll start moving on to the next piece. Um, and then we'll start doing this section and that section. Um, yeah, ultimately we will need to. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to run this path straight through here. Um, because as we as we close this area off, we will need access on that side, which is going to be fine. Um, it's not not too bad at all. I just want to see us actually getting firefighters in there um, because it'll be important. So if we have a look at it now, does this uh, one have workers on there? It doesn't have workers on there. Are we out of workers? Why are you not being able to? Hang on. Let's uh, double check. What are we saying here? Oh, are we maybe getting a little ahead of ourselves with what we are asking for? Do we do we have to say foreign workers, for instance? I'm very sure we should be okay. Um, if we come in over here, foreign workers have... Yeah, they have basic education. That's the issue. They've got basic education. Uh, what we'll do is I'm going to tell you to please uh, head on back that way. Um, and go and pick some people up there. Now it should work. You should have um, some foreign workers ready to go. Let's pop in there. Yes, seven workers on the bus. We might need an extra one, to be honest, just to make sure that this thing is running on an appropriate uh, line. This is coming together. We're slowly dropping off all of the requirements. I just want to see um, that that is in fact working and then that'll be kind of the end of this episode and we'll continue slowly building things, planning things out. Um, but I think with the fire station in mind, that one should really, hang on, should actually reach our oh, beautiful, beautiful. And what we can do certainly um, is uh, quickly clear this guy out there. Um, I want to go back and clear out this road a little bit. Bring it back, Dad, over there, and then what we'll do is uh, we will be running. Something like this through there. We'll tie this one in on this side, and I'm really comfortable to go ahead and do, do this. Well, actually, let's start it off on this side. That means we've got a pretty reasonable, um, a pretty reasonable connections um, to get over here from there, from there, and from there. So multiple access points, which is what you want. If you're going to start graveling these roads, you do need those multiple access points, and we'll have to still sort out what we're going to do in this area. But I kind of like the the initial layout there. But the idea is really going to be to get um, steel up and running. So that we can do our own steel and stop um, importing steel. Importing steel is the is the pricey part, which we we basically struggle with. This is going to be done um, in a couple of days. I do like us using our own equipment to continue doing this. And with this now, they should be able to run down that section actually. And I would like us to start. Actually, maybe what we should do is actually um, start work on. on that section. And once we get this one up and running, 
um, down all the way that way, then we can go over to the other one. Because this one is not going to be used for a for a bit of time, and I would like to get all of this graveled up um, fairly quickly. We'll start work on that. I believe this one is going. Yeah, all good. So we are starting to do that. This is going uh, along um, swimmingly at the moment, about halfway done. Um, and then we'll start looking at getting our own steel produced here. We'll have to import everything we need, though. So we'll uh, we'll leave it there for the time being. Guys, if you've enjoyed it, please hit that like button. This is a brand new series. I'm really um, um, enjoying it thus far. There's obviously a lot of challenge. It's a bit slow going with regards to um, the realistic mode. I'm pretty sure we're not going to have people um, for the first winter, which I think is kind of okay. And we'll get people in 19... 61 as soon as the winter ends we'll, we should then actually have this the city fairly ready to go um early on so we get our heating and everything in place or the, at least the basic components for it because i don't want to lose happiness by popping people into something that doesn't actually work straight away um but yeah all of all, all in all um things are going along nicely and we're currently constructing things so guys if you've enjoyed it again please hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already leave your comments down below am i missing stuff and i will see you in the next one bye bye